Welcome to Cindy E. Eats. I'm Cindy. Hey. Amen, amen, amen. If this is your first time joining me, thank you for stopping by. If you've been here before, welcome back. Welcome back to my aunties, my OGs, my brothers, my sisters, my nieces, my nephews, my cousins, my grandmas, my grandpas. Come, come, come. We got some crappy fish. The very first time on this channel. I've never had it before. This is my first time. And shout out to my baby daddy for the fish, okay? It ain't cut like Sam's World. There we go. We're also going to be doing CJ and Sharice's um, 2K celebration by Keep It Up With The Griffiths. I'm going to tell y'all right now, this is not going to lie to you ever. I'm going to turn the light up a little bit. I'm going to have to get up for this one. Maybe not. There we go. This is not going to lie to you ever. Not on purpose. I did not go watch the grill video. My bad. I had the hot sauce. I know I read the rules. Got to have some hot sauce. Put it on whatever you like. And two things that you like about CJ and Sharice. Number one, Sharice. Number two, CJ. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. I got some water. I got some water. Put the water over here. Got some Coca Cola. I got some Franks. And I got this from Walmart. It's called Lola's. No bread. No uh, coleslaw. No nut. No mustard either. This is my first time trying this fish, though. Let's see. I did not cook this fish, okay? Mm. Now, You say shout out to my baby daddy. Yes. I don't have any babies. We share two kids. Our oldest daughter was over his house yesterday. Which you know they tend to do without me. Who cooks? You know, cooks them a meal. Who cooks some fish this time? She came home and told me what she was. Hey, I was like, please ask the man, can I have some fish? She was like, Marcia. I was like, no, please ask him, can I have some? I want some so bad, I ain't never had it. Um, he was very gracious and gave me some. <clears throat> Our children are wrong. Our children have children. I do not communicate with them. We still live in the same city together. Mm -hmm. We're not, you know. We still live in the same city. I see him from time to time at the grocery store. The last time I seen him at the grocery store, he shot me one of these. <laughs> Which I think is quite hilarious. And I acknowledge him by He's almost like, 
Strangers in the night. Exchanging. See about the choke. <coughs> Ghost pepper. I am getting a bit of ghost pepper. I taste garlic. Today is Monday, by the way. Can we get this video on Tuesday? Just got some good noodles. Can you imagine what it is? Can you imagine? Can you guess? But first, let me say, how is everybody doing today? Sis will not complain. She won't. I wish I could have gotten this shirt if I could. You know, kind of crispy. I didn't want to refry it. I'm scared I was going to dry up the meat too much. Are you waiting on tender hooks? Sis got a job, sis got a job, sis got a job. Mm. Yes, sis has a job. Be a minute before I start, so I'm still looking. Still looking. The job I took. Let me show the people. Bye. Bye. Mm -mm. I gave you a whole one. That whole juice I gave you. Is a tremendous pay cut. Tremendous. Like my daughter said, it's a split. 
open door. And God could be sending me there for something bigger, for something better. I had a couple of interviews last week, and this was one of them. Later, interview me. She's like, I'm okay. I'm gonna go ahead and recommend you for such and such. I'm like, okay. She was talking about something. Started talking. I'm like, okay, okay. I like um, just to make sure. You said I got the job, right? <laughs> she started laughing. She's like, yes, you, you have the job. milk. Girl, but I don't get no more milk. She don't drink milk. Mm, bye. Yes, I do. I am relieved somewhat because again it's a big pay cut. I won't stop for a minute. Excuse me. Excuse me for all future belters. I'm doing a blanket apology in advance for all future belters. On previous weeks. I'm going to have to go through training, of course. I want to say she told me to train them. Eight or eight or ten weeks. I don't remember. I know it's mom. One thing I'm praying about is that the training can be like at night time, like not leaving. Until like 11 o'clock at night. It's like a 20 minute drive. You don't know 
what shape you're gonna have. So it could be um I think it's just first and second. Nervous about that too. I don't want no second shift, nothing. Nothing. I interviewed with this company that I tried to get a job with last year. Some of my OGs know I went for this job. <clears throat> and it went with an internal, an internal candidate. They had up a job literally that matched my job, my previous job. Oof. My previous job to the T. Yeah, I have a lot of fruit flies. I got plenty more I had got. School for Mother's Day. And we're right over here by the thing. Hey, mommy. Balcony door. Whatever. Part for this job. Did the initial interview. Completed the, the assessment. It took like an hour. <clears throat> I interviewed on Wednesday afternoon. Did the assessment the very next morning by 10 o'clock. Yeah. Well, I'll get in contact with you by Friday the 12th. A second interview if that you can move forward. And I ain't gonna lie. The assessment was no joke, okay? The assessment was no joke. I don't understand the purpose for spatial recognition or problems on the interview for customer service, which I've done a lot in applying for jobs. I don't understand the need for SAT questions on an assessment for a customer service job. As a, as a bicycler, Sally. Rise up by the 18 miles per hour. She traveling such and such hour. How, how many hours gonna take this hour to get such and such? How many miles she gonna travel? For a customer service job? They ain't asking for a speech speech uh speech test. They ain't asking me to recite a uh, dialogue. Which was what the dialogue would consist of. They did give me like a word and um, Excel test. Mind you, I know how to use Word and Excel. But everybody isn't taught the same thing. You know what I'm saying? The same way. They asked me how to change the font. Baby, ain't nobody going up in, in the thing. I mean, I know how to. But I'm I'm right I'm, I'm right clicking, you know what I'm saying. How do you format a cell? Which button do you press to format a cell? I don't press any of the buttons. I right I right click, bring up the menu. Can't get no proper Excel trainer. I feel like 
that's going to be something I'm going to have to do. Is get proper Excel training, proper whatever training. I see them. I thought I'm in the work from home group. How long have you been? 20 minutes. They're like, baby, go get you some of these free uh, certificates out here. I'm going to have to put something like that on my resume. Had to be a woulda, woulda, shoulda, coulda. Right now, but I really wish I would have went back to school during this time. I really, really do. I like French, y'all, but this right here is giving me garlic goodness. And I'm, I'm craving garlic right now, for real. <clears throat> That's something I wish I would have focused on instead of just trying to get a job. I would have my options. Instead of going back to work, took my time, finished my associate's degree. Helped me stand out more with my credentials, with my resume. And I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad about it. It is what it is at this point, right? I feel bad. Not to say that I can't ever go back or that I won't. That's why I haven't stopped looking for a job. So I need a, a job that's going to pay me enough money that. I'd be able to go back to school and pay for it. You know what I mean? So I can go back to school and pay for it. You know about Pell Grants and all that stuff. I don't think I have any more time left on the Pell Grants. Went to school for culinary arts. And it was one year, one semester, I had to drop some classes, which extended my time. So I don't think sis can get on my pill grant. Like crappy and similar to um, black bass. Get up 
out of here. The best part of this. I'm gonna have my daughter call me back. So the other day, she's time she go there. She asked me if I can get some. I cook it myself. Some new good and fresh the next time I sit down here, okay? Well, it's about that time that I get up out of here. Before I leave, let's say a quick prayer. Oh, thank you. Excuse me, hold on. Let me back up, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. Excuse me, Lord. Lord, thank you for this day. A new day here on this earth, a day you we never seen, the day you never created. Let us rejoice and be glad in this day, Father God. Thank you for the time that you spared for me today, guiding me, leading me, keeping me throughout the whole day. Not just me, Lord, but every last one of my subscribers. Subscribe to my channel and those who watch, those who like, those who share, and those who comment. Father God, I thank you for it all. Thank you for blessing me. Thank you for blessing them. Thank you for keeping me. Thank you for keeping them. Keep us all throughout this day and this night as we slumber throughout the night. I thank you, Lord, for your many blessings, your love, and your protection. And my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, name I pray. Amen. 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 Now, there's three things I'll leave you with before I go. The very first one is to let you know that God loves you. Number two, so. Do I? Number three, the reason I show up each and every time is strictly for your viewing pleasure. So I hope to see you next time on some DE Wigs. Bye. I wish I could pop, but I can't drop it. Pop, but I can't drop it. Pop, but I can't drop it. Put me to dancing lady with her heels kicked up in the air. Yes, I just did that. That's what separates me from all other channels. I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate every last one of y'all that sticks to the end for the silliness that is sentiment. Okay? Okay. Let me take a sip of this water before I go. I was trying to figure out a dessert, but since I ain't had no fruit, I got one banana, and that was it. And a banana, I don't think it'll sit right with fish. But you know what I crave the most after eating seafood? I mean, whether it's fish, crab legs, shrimp. I be eating seafood. I be wanting ice cream, baby. I be wanting ice cream. And I think it's called from Chow. The story. Y'all know I'm from DC. Blue Crafts is a big thing in DC. So one day we at home, my cousin's there, and all her kids, my mama, and some other people. We ate the crabs down. We ate the crabs down. And my cousin pulled out, Lord have mercy, a chocolate eclair. You know, like the strawberry shortcake ice cream. She pulled out the chocolate eclair. Now, I'm not the biggest strawberry shortcake fan, but I love me and chocolate eclair, y'all. And she pulled that thing out. And I'm like, ooh, I want some ice cream. And guess what she said? She was like, you ain't supposed to eat uh, <laughs> ice cream after eating seafood. I'm like, what? She's like, yeah. And my mom's like, so, you know, she is right. You ain't really supposed to eat that after you eat uh, crabs and stuff. I'm like, how is that? And you eat them. Why I can't have them? Basically, she ain't had them for me, so she told me that's what I ain't supposed to eat. Ooh, ooh, I ain't never forgot that. I was about eight. 
9 p.m. somewhere in there. She ain't want she she ain't wanna get no ice cream. So every time I eat something, then I got to have ice cream after. But I ain't got no ice cream. But guess what I'm eating? Some sure. I got me some fruity pebbles. The one with Betty and Wilma on there. Yeah. And them cheap them them fruity uh Cheerios, baby. Check them out. Check them out. I might put no, I ain't gonna put it in this video because it's thirty minutes. I've been running in my mouth. Thirty minutes. But hope to see you next time. I'll send you the peace. Bye. I be having this microphone on and I don't even think it really works. Ooh.